General Pipe Cleaner's Typhoon Trailer Jet is ideal for clearing large lines with high water flow requirements or remote jobs far from a water source. 12 gallons of water surge down the line every minute at a powerful 2500 PSI to blast lines clear of grease, sediment, and debris. A 200 gallon holding tank carries enough water to handle remote applications where access to water is limited. A 690 cc Honda engine with electric start powers the 2500 PSI 12 gallon per minute pump with Vibra Pulse. The 400 foot capacity jet hose reel features electric rewind with a variable speed reel controller. The supply hose reel includes 150 feet of 3 quarter inch hose. Both are mounted at the rear of the unit next to the pressure gauge and shutoff valve. Remote engine controls, including an hour meter, are mounted within easy reach in the lockable toolbox with slide action doors. The Typhoon is mounted on a heavy duty frame with a splash guard to protect the pump and engine from road debris. Standard safety features include electric brakes, safety strobe light, rear fold down stabilizer jacks, and a retractable guide arm. An antifreeze system protects the unit from freeze damage. A spray wand is also included for heavy duty cleanup jobs. The Typhoon Trailer Jet gives you everything you need to clear tough clogs with wall to wall cleaning action. This video provides a general overview of the operating instructions and safety procedures for using General's Typhoon Trailer Jet. Disregarding any of the safety procedures can result in serious personal injury or damage to the equipment. This video does not include a complete list of all of the recommended safety procedures and does not provide specific instructions for every application. Before you start, remember the following safety instructions. Be sure to wear safety goggles to protect your eyes from spray and debris. Do not operate near combustible materials, fumes, or dust. Operate the machine in open spaces where there is adequate oxygen and where carbon monoxide will not build up. Never point the spray wand or nozzle at anyone the high-pressure spray is powerful enough to break the skin. If fluid seems to have penetrated your skin, get emergency care at once. Know how to shut off the machine in an emergency. Be sure to read your instruction manual before operating the Typhoon. If you have questions, call the Drain Brains at General. Before hitching and towing the trailer, check that your vehicle uses a 2-inch ball that is rated Class 2 or better. Lower the trailer hitch onto the ball. Make sure the keeper engages the ball to secure the hitch. Then secure the keeper with a hitch pin. Always use the safety chains. Secure the chains by crossing them, forming a cradle. Attach the breakaway switch cable securely to the tow vehicle with just enough slack to allow for turning without disengaging the pin. Plug the trailer's seven pin connector into your vehicle to activate the trailer lights and brake before towing. Be sure the hitch jack is tilted up and secured when towing to avoid damage. Do not transport the trailer with a partially filled water tank Tow only with a completely full or completely empty water tank to prevent dangerous sloshing. Tow the trailer to a safe location near the line to be cleared. Choose a level spot where you can pull the hose directly off the reel and have room to work. Avoid high traffic areas and use the safety strobe and traffic cones. Remember that jetting is most effective when the line is cleared from the lower end, that is, from the street to the building. 
Secure the trailer at the job site by folding down and extending the rear stabilizer jack. Install a Group 24 12 volt car battery in the battery compartment. If this is the first time you've operated your Typhoon, make sure the fuel tank is full. Use unleaded regular gasoline. Check the oil levels in the pump and engine. The low oil shutoff will prevent the engine from starting if there is not enough oil. Check the inlet filter before each use. Before filling the 200 gallon water tank, make sure the drain valve is closed. To hook up the supply hose to the water source, first release the reel brake, then pull the hose from the supply reel to the water source. Be sure to use a clear water source. Turn on the water to allow rust and debris to flush out of the line before connecting to the hose. The tank is equipped with a low water shutoff valve to protect the pump so the engine will not start unless the tank is at least half full. The Typhoon is usually equipped with up to 400 feet of half-inch hose, capable of clearing cleanouts, 4-inch to 12-inch drain lines, septic lines, and laterals. It can also use a 3 8 inch hose to clear 3-inch through 8-inch lines, or applications that require additional flexibility. The Typhoon includes a set of high-performance nozzles, featuring a patented hydrodynamic design to increase thrust and cleaning power. They help pull the hose down long runs and cut through hard stoppages. Start with the powerful traction nozzle. It gives you maximum pulling power and is used to punch through stoppages and pulverize grease clogs. The chisel point nozzle breaks through tough clogs and cuts through grease and ice. Finish the line with the wide spray cleaning nozzle. It flushes out sand and mud clogged lines and pressure washes the pipe walls thoroughly. Or leave the lines crystal clear with the optional rotary nozzle. It scours the walls of the pipe for real wall-to-wall -wall cleaning action. Rip through roots with the optional chainsaw nozzle. Spinning at up to 10,000 RPM, the chainsaw nozzle easily clears four, six, eight, and 10 inch lines. Chain or wire rope lengths can be quickly switched for different diameter pipes. Select the nozzle best suited for your job and attach it to the end of the hose. Before you start, make sure your safety goggles are on to prevent injury from spray and debris. Make sure the Vibra Pulse valve is off. If the Typhoon is positioned over the drain opening, swing the guide arm into place. Release the reel lock. Then pull the hose and nozzle from the reel and slide it four to six feet into the line, or at least around the first bend, to reduce backspray. Open the output valve. To start the engine, move the throttle to half. If the engine is cold, open the choke. Then turn the ignition key to start the engine. As the engine warms up, gradually move the choke lever to the closed position. With one hand on the jet hose, move the throttle to full speed. The hose will start to pull itself into the line. Guide the hose from the reel and into the drain. Proceed slowly, but keep the hose moving. A jet nozzle in motion is more likely to open the drain and less likely to get stuck in a break or crack in the pipe. Allow the hose to slide down the line a few feet at a time. Then pull the hose back half the distance advanced. The actual cleaning takes place when the hose is pulled back toward the operator. To get around tight bends or help the hose slide more easily on longer runs, turn on the Vibra Pulse valve located next to the pump. The vibration helps overcome the friction between the hose and the walls of the pipe. When the line has been cleared, retract the hose from the line 
using the variable speed motorized reel. Turn on the rewind motor and adjust the speed to a comfortable level. It is helpful to wrap a piece of tape around the hose 10 feet from the end as a warning. Stop retracting the hose before pulling the end out of the line so that you don't get hit with high pressure spray. Throttle down the engine before closing the output valve. Then shut off the engine and turn off your water source. To use the spray wand, connect the spray wand hose to the fitting near the unloader. If a longer hose is needed, you can connect the spray wand hose directly to the end of the high pressure hose. Follow the startup procedures already shown for jet operation. Hold the spray wand securely and brace yourself before squeezing the trigger. Be sure to wear safety goggles while operating the spray wand. The Typhoon is equipped with a built-in antifreeze system to protect both the pump and the hoses during freezing temperatures. Be sure to read your instruction manual before operating the Typhoon or performing maintenance on your unit. If you have any questions, you can always call the Drain Brains at General. General's Typhoon Trailer Jet gives you another weapon to use on some of your toughest stoppages. General Pipe Cleaners, the toughest tools down the line.